Although not quite as strong as its tech-supported all-time high-hitting Nasdaq and S&P peers, the Dow Jones still had a hell of an August, resuming the path back towards its own record peak. And that's in a month that saw continued coronavirus headlines out of the US and some nasty spikes in US-China tensions. Now, it would only take an 800-point push for the Dow to re-reach the all-time highest set in February. For reference, August saw the index surge just shy of 900 points. Will it be able to continue its climb in September? The month has already gotten off to a strong start, in large part to the latest, latest vaccine speculation. In the UK, Matt Hancock has said the law could be changed to fast track a vaccine before Christmas, while in the US, Dr. Anthony Fauci said a similar thing, stating that if the ongoing clinical trials were overwhelmingly positive, then a vaccine could arrive earlier than expected. To complement these claims, human, human trials of the Oxford vaccine have now begun in the US. This is more than enough for investors, so much so in fact that it meant they could ignore the US saying it wouldn't join in with the global WHO-backed effort to develop and distribute a vaccine around the world. As for data, the Dow's first major obstacle, or potentially aid, arrives on Friday in the form of the latest non-farm jobs report. Still a long way from clawing back the near 21.5 million jobs lost across March and April, the figures for May, June and July have all been strong, rising from 2.509 million to 4.8 million before falling back to 1.763 million. This time out, analysts are looking for 1.385 million jobs to have been created across August, which, while still strong, is another month-on-month -month decline, a concern given the sheer number of jobs that still need to be recovered. As for the unemployment rate, that's sitting at 10.2% as of the last reading, seeing three conse consecutive months of decline after spiking to 14.7% in April. Remember, that number was expected to jump to like 19.4%, but never got quite as high. On Friday, forecasts suggest a further reduction down to 9.8%, which I guess is sort of a key psychological mark of that number going back under the 10% mark. Um, average hour, hourly earnings, meanwhile, unexpectedly eked out an increase in July, edging up to 0.2% after two months of contraction. Further progress in that would be welcome, but it's looking unforthcoming, and this are estimating a 0.0% reading. Before that, factory orders and the ADP non-farm numbers are released on Wednesday, while the usual third Thursday job list claims are joined by the final market and ISM services PMIs. The flash reading for the formal was 54.8, while the latter is forecast to fall from 58.1 to 57.0. I think really it is, the vaccine news has given a sort of a short-term injection to the markets, but that never really seems to last long. It sort of gets these big hits of vaccine news, but that doesn't really carry over more than a, more than a, um, a session or two, I think, given that the, the speculative nature of many of those vaccine headlines, I think that's why the, the non-farm jobs report on Friday could really make or break how the Dow Jones and the rest of the United States indices really do in the first couple of weeks of September, as it's going to be a further indication of just how well the US economy is holding up and how quickly it can recover um, from the major downturn, at least in the unemployment scene in the last couple of weeks.